Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to restore access to the Microsoft Update website in Windows 2000. Let's get started. Now before we begin, please make sure to back up all of your files in case anything does go wrong. Now nothing should go wrong, but in case anything does go wrong, you will have a backup of your files. Next, you need to have at least Service Pack 3 installed or higher on Windows 2000 for this method to work. Now it's worth noting that this method will modify your proxy settings, so if you do have any existing proxy settings, make sure to keep note of them because this method will overwrite your existing proxy proxy settings. So if you want to view your existing proxy settings, just click the start button, click settings, click control panel, double click internet options, click connections, click land settings, click advanced, and you should be taken to this window. Now if you don't see anything filled in here, then you're all good, but if you do, make sure to keep note of that information because it will be overwritten. Alright, so now that out of the way, let's get to restoring access to the Microsoft Update website in Windows 2000. So all you need to do is download this file here, which I'll have linked in the description below, and after you've downloaded it, you just need to open it and make sure that everything is checked here and then click install. This window here will pop up and just click next. Click I accept the terms in the license agreement and then click next. You can fill out this information here if you'd like, but I'm just going to click next. You can click customize if you'd like, but I'm going to click install now and then it'll start installing. Then just click finish and then your system will restart and then it'll start the second part of the installation. Just click OK on the prompts here and there we go. We can see that two new shortcuts have been added to the desktop. So we need to open the Microsoft Update shortcut, and then you'll be taken to the Microsoft Update website. And now you'll see here that we've been taken to an error screen. And now this is completely normal because there's a problem with the Microsoft Update website. So there is a simple fix for this, but you have to be very quick with it. So we need to reload the page and click the Start Now button extremely fast so it can go to the next part of setting up Microsoft Update. So in my case, I'm going to press the F5 key on my keyboard to reload the page. After a couple of tries, you'll be taken to this screen here. Just click continue. Then click check for updates. And then you'll be taken to the main Microsoft Update website screen. You can either press express here to get high priority updates, which is recommended, or you can click custom, which will show you all the available updates for your Windows 2000 system. So in this case, I'm going to click custom. It'll say checking for the latest updates for your computer. Now the checking for update speed will vary depending on your system hardware, how many updates you have installed, and your internet speed. If you get this prompt here, just click yes, and you'll be taken to this screen here. The website just needs to install some prerequisite updates so the website can work properly. So just click download and install now, and then it'll be taken to this pop-up here. And then it'll start downloading and installing the required updates. Once the update's finished installing, just click restart now and your system will restart. All right, so after our system's restarted, we need to open the Microsoft Update shortcut that's on the desktop, and we'll be taken to the Microsoft Update website again. I'm going to click Custom again, and it'll start checking for the latest updates for my computer. And there we go, it's found available updates for my computer. As you can see, there's a lot of available updates here. We've even got optional updates. We've got quite a few here, and that's about it. Now, not only will you get updates for the operating system itself, but you'll also get updates for other Microsoft products that you have installed in your system, such as Microsoft Office and Windows Live. So there you go. That's how to restore access to the Microsoft Update website in Windows 2000. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like my videos. Thanks. Have a great day.